How's everyone doing today? I just wanted to put together a quick video. Uh, I know that there's been a lot of hype lately, uh, especially the past couple days, around Tom Coin, um, which let me go ahead and pull it up on Coin Mac Coin Market Cap. Um, this was the coin that was founded by uh, the founders of Telegram, uh, the messaging program. And so there's been a lot of hype around this lately. Uh, it is mineable. Uh, there, it's the dark coin algorithm, I believe. Uh, it is on a few exchanges. Uh, none of these I really partake in. However, uh, I do have five A2000s. And so I wanted to go ahead and throw the coin on them just to show you guys the hash rate. Uh, across the couple different cards. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm in my Hive OS instance. Now, I don't have a big farm. I only have 21 GPUs. Uh, but what we're going to do is, we're, I already have them on my 4 gig cards. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and launch this flight sheet on my uh, other cards. Uh, mainly cards I would normally mine on Ethereum. Let's go ahead and launch the flight sheet on those. That one. And all of my A2000s are using a Ribtech uh, 8 GPU blockchain board. So let's go ahead and fire that one up as well. Those are started. Okay, the A2000s are starting up now. Uh, so before I get into the A2000s while those are starting up, let me just cover the other cards. So uh, one of note is the 1650 Super. Uh, so normally I would mine this on uh, Ravencoin at about 12 mega hash. Uh, right. Let's see. Notron. Oops. There we go. The open network. All right. So normally I would get about a dollar a day on this one. Uh, mining Ravencoin at 12 mega hash. Uh, right now I'm getting 1.158 giga hash. Now I don't know how accurate this calculator is, but according to this, I would be getting a dollar seventy-three on this card. If I go over to what to mine, let's clear out the values, uh, and we can see on Kapow, I've been averaging. Pretty much at 12. It fluctuates between 11.9 and 12.04. So let's just say 12 on Raven. And we talk about pure revenue. That's $1.13 a day versus $1.73 a day. So right now, the open network definitely is more profitable on the 1650 Super. Again, this is a 4 gig card. Uh, so let's jump over to uh, my Radeon Pro rig. So I have um, a rig of 70 uh, WX7100s, two of those, which are essentially the pro version of the RX580 8 gig. Um, they just run a, a little bit less wattage, they run at 94 watts. Uh, and then the 9100 is the Radeon Pro version of the Vega 64, uh, except it only runs at 110, 120 watts. Uh, so on these, we're getting uh, 600 and so 700 mega hash on this one. Uh, we're running 2150 mem on that one and 2000 mem on this one. So we're getting 650 on this one. And then on the 9100, which is equivalent to Vega 64, we're getting around 
So right off the bat, you can see that the 1650 Super, which is a super common 4 gig GPU that's in most pre-built PCs from the past couple years, um, has almost double the hash rate of the 580s. Um, and then moving on, uh, this is a 6700 XT, and we're getting 1.3. So that 1650 Super is almost on par with the 6700 XT on that algorithm. Uh, obviously, any modern GPUs I would be throwing either on Raven or on Ethereum. Uh, but the 4 gigs, it's a toss-up between Raven and Ton right now, actually. Um, so let me show you, so minor 3, this one. All right, this is a, <laughs> there's a lot of four gig cards on here. Uh, so every card on this rig is four gigs. Uh, starting with the 570s four gig, we're getting around 820, yeah, 825, 818 uh, mega hash on this coin. Uh, the 4100s are essentially 560s. So we're getting 365, 365. The actual 560, we're getting 335, so we're getting a little bit less on that one. Uh, 414, so we are getting a little bit higher on this one. Uh, this is this is a 560 that has the external power connector, the additional 6-pin power connector. Uh, so that one can get a little bit more power to it. Uh, the 3200s, which are also basically a 560. Uh, are getting 230 each, 228.5 exactly on all three. Um, again, 365 on their 4100. This one, this is, I know it comes up as unknown GPU, but this is actually a RX 640, uh, which is essentially a rebranded RX 550, uh, getting 260. So what I find interesting about this card is right now you can get this card for $150 um, all day long and it, that's retail um, that's not on eBay that's brand new in the box and it's pulling in a better hash rate than the 3200s which these 3200s go for about $300 on eBay right now I think 250 to 300 so I find that very interesting I actually have three more of these on the way uh, just kind of placeholders until I can get some more A A2000s. I oh, went that there is something in the rig. All right, so on to the main part of the video, and that is the A2000s. So we are getting 1.2 giga hash per card on the A2000s. So what that means is this rig of five, we're currently getting 6.172. which equates to $9.25 a day, which would get us 2.66 ton. Um, and that rig normally gets 210 mega hash on Ethereum. So in comparison, it's about $2 less. Mm -hmm. Yeah, $9.25 versus $11.40. Uh, one thing I would point out here, is that this also gets let's see how that stacks up to Ethereum Classic? So Ethereum Classic would be six dollars forty cents times nine dollars twenty five cents. So it's significantly better than most of the other coins out there right now, um, especially if we're talking Ethash coins. Uh, again, not intended to be a profitability video, just kind of wanted to cover uh, kind of the hash rates that I'm seeing across the board uh, on uh, the open network coin, uh, just so uh, everybody's kind of up to speed on it. I know there are a couple A2000 videos on uh, Ethereum and Ravencoin and Ergo. 
uh, but I didn't come across really any information on Tom, so I did want to put this out there uh, for anyone who was looking for that information. Um, it is using the same power consumption as Ethereum, so 69 watts, 70 watts. Now, on all of these, I left all of my overclocks on my Ethereum overclocks, so uh, there could be some wiggle room there um, for adjusting. I didn't go into depth with trying to reconfigure everything uh, just because I knew that I probably wasn't going to stay on Tom that much. Uh, I want to get up to maybe, I don't know, I'll probably collect 10 coins or so um, and then switch everything back to Ethereum. Uh, I'm going to be leaving my 4 gig cards on it. Uh, all of my 8 gig cards, I'm going to switch back to Ethereum. However, I do find it interesting that it is borderline profits, um, especially with the A2000s. Uh, this rig, the minor one, if we wanted to compare the AMD cards, so 2.76. is four dollars and thirteen cents a day this rig gets 97 mega hash on ethereum so 525 versus 413 so again a dollar a day it it seems relatively on par if uh and again i don't have nvidia 10 series cards maybe the 1070 and 1080s uh, excel at this algorithm uh, I'm not sure I'm not able to test that uh, I did test my 3070 uh, which is in my Alienware laptop and uh, it's all about the same numbers it was actually only getting about 1.6 uh, giga hash where it gets 62 mega hash from Ethereum but that's it I just wanted to do a quick video uh, covering primarily the A2000 uh, hash rates on Ton as well as some of the other ones. Uh, thank you for watching.